All right, so let's bounce over to um, uh, Rhino and Grasshopper, and let's write our first uh, Python script. All right, so go ahead and drop the Python object onto the canvas, right, in a new file. And um, just so um, you have an um, understanding of wh what we'll be doing and what the difference is between the files that we create and the files that we've given you, this is the folder that we shared with you, and it's got nine uh, grasshopper definitions. Um, so we're going to go through eight of them. And each one of them, these are the labels of the exercises, the same titles. Um, each one of them uh, you could open if you wanted and uh, review them, right? And this is where we're going to go, right? So this is the first exercise. We're going to create our first Python component and note a few things about it, right? Um, each of our files has lots of uh, notes in it and labels as to what's going on with the object. So these are really for you to always have as a reference. And then we'll go through and we'll build everything from scratch together. All right, so this is the first thing we're going to do, just examine the Python component. So we've dropped one onto the canvas, and notice that it's orange by default. It's because it's not doing anything yet. Orange just means it's giving us a warning that, hey, um, I'm not quite sure if you want to be doing this. All right, or, hey, I don't have any information inside me. All right, so let's examine what we have here. Remember, there are three parts. The left side is our inputs. The middle is the kind of um, top-level um, portion of this object as a grasshopper component. And on the right, we have our outputs. All right, so if you zoom in further and further, notice that you get these uh, additional icons that show up here allowing us to add or remove inputs uh, to our script. So sometimes we might want a script with two inputs, sometimes four or whatever. So uh, we need, this is how we can control variably how many inputs we want. In the same regard, we have the options to create more outputs. Right? There's, this one's always going to be here, the output, um, which is the execution information. This will always be here, and we can add or remove uh, outputs on this side of the object as well. All right, um, and then the other thing that we want to note before we go much further is where's some uh, useful information if I run into problems? Where's the help? So if you right-click the object in the center, notice that you have here the help button, which for the Python object is pretty long. Um, it shows here uh, some examples on how you access RhinoScript syntax, Rhino Common, which we'll get into what that is in a little bit. All right. Are there more tips? Can I ask more questions? Here's a link to the forum. All right. So, um, and then this portion looks more like your standard Grasshopper object help information, which right now it says X is generic data, Y is generic data. And output is the execution information. A is generic data, the output of the object. <coughs> okay. Uh, so we've examined the object itself and how to manipulate it. We've looked at the help. And the last part is how do we start writing a script? All right. So let's go in, go ahead and double click the middle part of the object, or you can right click and say open editor. Double click it, and now we have the Grasshopper Python script editor. This is where we're going to start to type our Rhino, our uh, Python script. And again, always good thing to note where is the help, right? So again, the GH Python component help, which is what we just looked at, can also be accessed through this help menu. And then there's also just as we looked at a second ago in the Python editor for Rhino, there's the help for RhinoScript syntax option. Okay, um, we have to send a screenshot over to our friend Steve uh, Bear over at McNeil, who moderates the Python forum and is developing this. Uh, you should probably not have this error, but um, for our purposes, uh, it's not going to be that big of an issue 
because the um, help window already opened up for us. All right, so again, we can browse through the different options we have for working with RhinoScript inside of Python, search for a particular method, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and um, uh, do one more action before we uh, go on to the next exercise. And if you participated in the um, previous webinar on uh, introduction to Python scripting and, and Grasshopper, um, this might seem familiar, but all we want to do is print, open parentheses, open quotes, hello world, close quotes, close parentheses. And if we hit test down here at the bottom left, this will actually print that message here and it will show you any errors if there are any. We'll hit OK. And additionally, um, to the lower portion of the editor window, if we drop a panel from params input into the definition and show the result of out, out also allows us to um, print information uh, at, to be recognized outside of the Grasshopper Python object. So now we have hello world. All right, so we've done our, we've created our first Python component. Okay. So um, based on this object, uh, does anyone have any questions before we move on to the next file? Go ahead and drop any questions you have into the question window, and um, we'll address them as a group. All right, so some of you are having issues accessing the link. Um, let's, um, you might want to try a different type of web browser to access it. And uh, in the meantime, we'll also copy this zip file out of Google Docs to box.com and share that link as well. So that will come um, through the chat window here in just a second. Okay. All right, there was uh, one other question about the print function, and it said, um, oh, that's interesting. All right. Uh, does the print function need to use parentheses? Well, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So I'm going to comment out that line, and we'll do this again. Test, and it worked. All right, so um, my kind of preference is to encapsulate it inside of the parentheses. Um, that's probably just a habit. Uh, again, people diff script differently, um, but relative to Python syntax, both of these are correct, technically. All right, so this was our, um, our first file, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, save that. All right, and let's go on to the next exercise. 